All right, guys, here we go with our screw lab. Uh, we're making a propeller car, and we're trying to see how fast it can go from your starting stripe to the uh, crack that divides the table and the counter. Uh, that's your finish line. That's your start line. All right, so um, the setup is uh, specified for you here for the beginning, and then you have a few blanks. If you have time, you can test other wheel combinations that you uh, you know that you think might get there the fastest. All right, so tells us the um, front wheels are going to be sporty, rear wheels are going to be small, propeller is in the front of the car. This determines what the front and the rear are. Okay, so wherever it tells you the propeller is, that tells you, okay, I want propeller in the front and sporty in the front. So that's going to look like this. Propeller in the front, sporty in the front, small in the rear. Okay. Um, I uh, wanted to just point out, remember that uh, you might be asking yourself, well, how's a fan or a propeller is a, is a screw? Well, remember from your notes that a screw is a modified inclined plane, which is the red part of the propeller, and that is wrapped around a cylinder, which is that tiny silver spindle or drive shaft, or in this case, prop shaft on your, on your vehicle, okay? So keep that in mind. All right. A uh, quick note about the wheels, um, when you are changing the wheels, only take one of the gray end clips off at a time, otherwise it's very likely that these pieces will fall on the floor and get all messed up. Also, make sure you have one of your spacers inside, put your wheel on, and then put one on the outside so that your wheels flow in nice and smooth, alright? Alright, so once you have that set up, you're going to line it up on your uh, starting line. And let's see how we do. Now it's a little tricky sometimes with the switch because it goes up and down. There's a forward and reverse. So you might have to play around with that a little bit to get the hang of it. All right. uh, one person will be timing while the other person starts it. You may have to cheat a little and give it a tiny little bump to get, get them started. This one doesn't go so good. Once it gets going, it actually goes okay, but sometimes they don't get going too good. There, you can see it's starting to creep along now. All right, so if you're having any issues, call me over. Sometimes the alligator clips on the fittings aren't quite on there right, um, but uh, you can see this guy's really going slow. Hopefully we can find some faster combinations than that, okay? So uh, make sure you catch it before it runs into the wall, please. All right, once it crosses the line, that's when the timer stops it. Just pick it up and then turn it off so you're saving your batteries for the next class. Sorry about all the camera jiggling. All right, um, once you're done with that, you can go through, come up with your different combinations, whatever you think is going to be fastest, um, and then finish up the lab. All right, let's go to it. Oh, please put the wheels back on the spindle in your bin um, for the next class. Thanks.